In Japan, 80,000 people disappear every year. Where do they go? 80,000 to 100,000 Japanese evaporate annually. Some are later found, but others vanish completely. They are known as johatsu, or evaporated. The matter is considered taboo in Japan, much like suicide. But it's so common that there's a whole industry built around it. Companies help people vanish overnight. The evaporated have their own neighborhoods. They hide in plain sight and work for the Yakuza. Why do they choose such a life? Japan's work culture is as notorious as it is demanding. Vacations are short and working hours are long. Over 20% of Japanese work 80 hours of overtime per month. Many workers suffer from the phenomenon of kuroshi. It literally means death by overwork. Official figures report around 200 such cases each year. But the real numbers could be as high as 10,000. In Japan, leaving a company is viewed as shameful. That's why disappearing has become a popular alternative. There are many more reasons why people choose it. They include depression, addiction, and the desire for isolation. Some escape from domestic violence, debt, or religious cults. Others are motivated by divorce or even failing an exam. This phenomenon has created an entire industry. There are night moving companies, known as Unigeya. They offer services to make disappearance easier. From finding a place to stay, to ensuring clients aren't being tracked, these companies can be easily found on Google. Unigeya, TS Corporation, is one of them. TS operated 22 branches across Japan. The fees range from $450 to $2,600. They depend on how far you're going and how many possessions you have. If you have kids or owe money, it will cost you even more. TS has about five to 10 people asking for their help every day. One of their clients admitted, I got fed up with human relationships. I took a small suitcase and disappeared. Japan offers a unique level of privacy protection. ADM transactions go unmonitored. Access to security footage is limited to authorized personnel. Therefore, it's very hard to locate a missing person. But where do evaporated people go? Sometimes they rent cheap hotel rooms. Other times, they can be found to have committed suicide. However, the majority of such individuals settle in slums. Sonya is a notorious skid row in Tokyo. It was once home to thousands of day laborers. Now it has become a haven for the evaporated. But it's not just Tokyo that attracts them. Kamagasaki, a neighborhood in Osaka, is also a popular spot. Here, it's possible to live without an ID. These communities are known to be Yakuza strongholds. The evaporated pick up any jobs that pay cash. They also change their names to maintain their anonymity. The police stay hands off unless there is a reported crime. Masashi Tanaka is 49 years old. He disappeared because his mom abused him. After he served time on drug charges, she told him, You're already dead to me. Don't write to me again. Tanaka ended up in Kamagasaki. He's living all alone these days. It's a tragic story, but unfortunately not an uncommon one in Japan.